Okay, we want to look at the finding the derivatives using the power rule, and this rule is fairly easy to use. Uh, we'll start with some pretty easy examples and show you some variations as we go. Okay, the rule reads like this. If the original function is y is equal to x to the n, then the derivative, which is given by y prime, would be equal to, and what you do is this, is bring the exponent down in front. So the derivative would be n times x, and you always subtract 1, so we'll subtract 1 from the original exponent. This is now going to be n minus 1. And that is the derivative rule right there. So the idea is bring the exponent down in front and then reduce the old exponent by 1. Okay, now let's look at some examples. Uh, to use this, uh, the first one we'll work these three examples. So if y is equal to x to the fourth, it starts out pretty easy. The derivative, which is given by y prime, so y prime would be equal to bring the, the exponent down in front and reduce the old exponent by 1. So this would be cubed, and you're done. On this one, y prime is equal to bring the original exponent down in front and x, subtract 1, and you'd get 7x to the 6. Now, if you have a constant, the derivative of a constant is always 0. And we'll take a quick look at why that is. If I had a graph, suppose I had this and this. Suppose I had the line y is equal to 5. So there it is right there. Uh, if the derivative is the slope of the, of the tangent line to this thing, well, a horizontal line always has a slope of 0, so no matter where you are, the slope's going to be 0. So there's some basic ones. Uh, let's take a look at a few more. Okay, if you have a polynomial like this, you can find the derivative of each term separately. And I think what I'm going to do is do it in two steps. You can do it in one step if you wanted to, but I'll do it in two steps. So what I'll have here is y prime is equal to, and here's the constant 3, and the derivative of this term would be 5x to the 4th. Plus, got the constant 4, the derivative of this term would be 3x squared. Got a negative 6, the derivative of x is just 1, so you can just leave it as 6, and the derivative of a constant is 0. Then I'll finally rewrite the final answer would look like this. Uh, 15x to the 4th plus 12x squared minus 6, and you are done. Now, if you want to, you can skip this middle step. Just 5 times 3 is 15, 4 times 3 is 12. So another way of doing them. Okay, let's go to the next problem. Looks like this. Now, what if you have uh, the variable in the denominator? Sometimes you've got to rewrite it, and the rule goes like this. Get all the x's out of the denominator and get rid of the radicals. So I'm going to rewrite this as this, as make it be 1. Or it's, since this is an x to the positive 3 in the bottom, I'll move it to the top and make it be an x to the negative 3. Now I'll find the derivative of that. So y prime, first of all, bring the negative 3 down in front, then you've got an x. Now minus 1, minus 3, minus 1 would give you a negative 4 and you are done. If you've got a problem that looks like this, uh, just bring the x to the fifth up. So this is going to become 2 thirds, and this is going to become x to the negative 5. So if you have an x in the bottom, bring it to the top and make a negative. Now find the derivative of that. Well, y prime, I think I'll do it in two steps. This will be, here's the constant 2 thirds, and the derivative of this would be negative 5x, and I'll take away 1, which would give me x to the negative 6. So the final answer in this case is going to look like this. It would be negative 10 thirds x to the negative 6. And you're done. Uh, let's take a look at the next one. Okay, now the difference in that last problem, in the last problem it was just the x term that's squared. Here both the 4 and the x is squared. So in this one when you rewrite it, you've got to do the following. 3 First of all, you have to square both the 4 and the x. So this is going to become 16x squared. Now get the x out of the denominator. That'll leave you with a 3 16 x 
to the negative 2. Now find the derivative of that. Well, that derivative would be, here's the constant 3 sixteenths. Now find the derivative of this term, which would be negative 2x to the negative 3. I'm going to subtract 1 right here. Now I'll rewrite the final answer as y prime would be equal to, and you can cancel some stuff out here. In this case, uh, the 2 goes into the 16 and leaves you with an 8. So your final answer would be negative 3 eighths x to the negative 3. Now it's possible when you look in the back of the book, the book might do this. They might move the negative exponent back to the bottom and make it positive. So you possibly could see an answer that would look like this, positive 3. But either this answer or this answer is okay. All right, let's take a look at the next problem. Okay, if you have radicals, and what you have to do with radicals is change them from radical form into exponential form. So we'll make this one be x to the 1 half. So the derivative is going to be 1 half x. Now here's a little trick on taking away 1. Rather than taking away 1, take away 2 halves. So that'll be x to the minus 1 half, and you're done. If you have a cube root, this would be like having x to the 1 third power. So the derivative would be bring the exponent down in front and take away 1, but in this case take away 3 thirds because 3 thirds is 1. Well 1 minus 2 thirds or 3 thirds would be a negative 2 thirds and you are finished. So there's that one and that one. So to handle radicals change them into exponential form first. Uh, next example. Uh, let's take a look at these. In this case the seventh root of x to the fourth would be x to the four seventh power. So when I find the derivative, then y prime is going to be four sevenths x, and this time I'm going to take away seven sevenths. Four minus seven would be minus three sevenths. I've got it. Let's take a look at this one. Um, first of all, I've got to change it into exponential form. So this is going to be 3 over x to the 3 fifths power. You've got to do one more step here. Get the x out of the denominator. So this will be x, or 3 times x, raised to the negative 3 fifths power. Now find the derivative of that. So y prime would be equal to, here's the 3, and I'm going to bring down negative 3 fifths x. I'm going to take away... 5 fifths. Minus 3 minus 5 would be minus 8 fifths. And now rewrite the final answer like this. y prime would be equal to negative 9 fifths x to the negative 8 fifths. And you've got it. Uh, let's try the next example. Okay, on this one, again, I will uh, first of all change this into x to the 1 fourth. So the derivative would be 1 fourth x, and I'll take away 4 fourths. So x to the negative 3 fourths. If you have one that looks like this, again, it's in the denominator, so I'm going to make that be 1 over x to the 1 fourth. Now remember, get the x out of the denominator, so I'll make that be x to the negative 1 fourth. Now I can find the derivative. So y prime would be equal to, bring the negative 1 fourth down in front, and you've got x, and I'll take away 4 fourths, take away 1 which gives me negative 5 fourths, and I am done. So, a couple of radical examples. Let's take a look at the next thing. Uh, sometimes you have to distribute first. So in this case, to use the power rule, you're going to have to multiply this times this, and this times this. So, a couple ways to solve it. I'm going to change that into y is equal to 2x to the 4th, add the exponents, plus 2x cubed 
over x squared. Well, that gets you to 2x to the fourth plus 2x. The x is simple. Cancel out. Now, finally, now I'm going to take the derivative of it. This was just what I'm calling the rewrite phase. So here I rewrote it. Now I'll finally find the derivative. y prime would be equal to 8x. Now it's going to be cubed. The derivative of 2x is 2, and you are done. So sometimes you have to what's called the rewrite phase first. You have to rewrite it. Uh, next example. Uh, if you have one that has division, you can do this to it. You can change it into uh, a, couple, well, a couple different ways. I think I'll do it this way. 3x to the fourth divided by x uh, minus 2x squared divided by x plus 2 over x. Now what that'll turn into is uh, this x cancels out one of these. You get 3x cubed. x cancels out an x minus 2x. And then finally, think of this as being x to the first power. Bring it up to the numerator and make it be 2x to the negative 1 power. So now I have rewritten it, and now I can take the derivative of it. So the derivative is uh, 9x squared minus 2. And the derivative of this one would be, I'll bring down negative 1x to the negative 2. So my final answer would look like this. 9x squared minus 2 minus 2x to the negative 2. And there's the derivative. So rewrite it into a form you use the power rule, then apply the power rule. Uh, next example. Uh, if you've got one that looks like this, the idea is to foil it first. You have to foil this thing. So I'll make this be y is equal to, and think of this being 3x plus 2 times 3x plus 2. So y would be equal to 9x squared plus 6 plus 6 would be plus 12x plus 4. Now that you've got it rewritten, take the derivative of that. So y prime is 18x plus 12, and you are done. Uh, next example. Um, this has got lots of stuff in it. Let's go ahead and try this one. Uh, I'll rewrite it first y is going to be equal to x to the 3 sevenths plus 2x to the 2 thirds minus 4, and I'll square both things in there, 9x squared plus 1 over x to the 1 sixth. Now I'm going to continue rewriting it. Leave this one alone, it's okay. I've got 2x to the 2 thirds this one is going to become 4 ninths x to the negative 2, and this one is going to become x to the negative 1 sixth. Okay, uh, finally I can take the derivative. So the derivative, all this was the rewrite phase. So y prime is going to be 3 sevenths x, and I'll take away 7 sevenths to the negative 4 sevenths. Plus, I can bring this down in front, and it'll be 4 thirds x, and I'll take away 3 thirds. 2 minus 1 would be minus 1 third. Finally, I'll bring down the negative 2. Two negatives make a positive. This will turn into 8 ninths x, and I'll take away 1, which will give me negative 3. And then finally, in this last example, uh, I'll bring down the negative 1 sixth, x, and then I'll take away 6, 6, which will give me negative 7, 6, and I am done. So there is the derivative. So there are some basic derivative rules for you.